Hi everyone, it's Kay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, it's my first time to have a sit-down moment after all the voiceovers that I've had. And as you can see from the title down below, I'll be answering random questions my students ask me. And I'm so excited. They're all here and yeah, uh, let's begin. <laughs> I asked this question last time pa. I think mga one and a half month old na tong questions na to na hindi hindi ko ma film. So ngayon I just came from a shoot for my birthday uh, birthday celebration chart. Anyway, uh, I'm turning 26, so I wanted to grace the occasion by having this photo shoot just to remember uh, what has been you know happening. So ayon, ingay ang aso sa kapitbahay. So yeah. What I have here are questions na sabi ko nga, June na before pa, na hindi ko ma-film. So, sulitin natin yung makeup natin today. And let us film and let me answer the questions that I have here. So, nandito sila sa iPad ko while <laughs> we're on bed. So, let's begin. First question is from... Edimar Sahib, uh, how many languages do you speak po, ma'am, K? So, languages. Siguro pag language, I'll have Filipino, English, and uh, yun. But as to dialect, I could speak a lot. So, hindi ko na inyo meri. Marami-rami naman. Except for Bisaya. I cannot speak that. I had a crush before. I was speaking Bisaya. So, nahirapan ako mag-communicate. This is a crush thing. So, yun. I think two languages at that. So, Filipino, feel Filipino and English. And a little bit of Turkish, a little bit of Arabic, a little bit of Chinese, of course, kasi I studied before when I was in high school. Pero, pag fluency ang usapan, not much. It would be Filipino and English. So, I hope I answered your question. Ed, hi, and thank you for the question. Next is from Giselle. Ismael, the, I think this is Del Prado kasi student ko to eh. Naputo lang yung name niya dyan. So, ah, uh, ano to? Law school myth and misconceptions po, ma'am, or your study routine as a law student? I joke, akala ko suggest vlog content. Mag-ask pala dapat. So, question. But I appreciate your suggestions. Why not? ba? We could try it next time. So, Yun. Hi, Giselle. Thank you for the question. Next is from RV James de Guzman. What is your favorite fruit po, ma'am? Um, favorite fruit? I think I'd go for watermelon. Yan siya. So, yan yung kinakain ko ngayon after workout and... After meal, I, I really love watermelon because I don't know, it makes you feel fresh and so yeah, that's it. Next one. Next question. I still have a lot here. So yan yung mga tanong. Um, from Precious Gapol, my student din, an English major, what are your ways on how to effectively study, ma'am? Uh, effectively study. Well, first things first, naka DND or do not disturb ang phone when it's study time. It's really study time. And para iwas distraction. So, I remove distractions to avoid distraction. So, that's the first step. And then, I play music, jazz, at that. To be able to read properly and then yun i start from page to page especially for law school and yun and of course i do exercises so that uh medyo ano din effective talaga yung aral so yun and uh i do notes so first is i read the book or the lesson and then the second reading will be for notes and then the third reading is like for um ano ba final review, parang ganun. So, that's how I do it. After, of course, removing the distractions and then starting it off. So, naka-close din ang door ko in the room so that they know that I am studying. So, yeah. 
I hope I answered your question. Next is again from Precious. Ang dami niyang tanong. Dalawa. Dalawa lang. Ma'am, what age mo balak ikasal? What? Uy, grabe. Wala pa nga tayong groom. So, oh. paano yan? So, uh, if it's the right time, I think it will come. Oh. So, for now, I hope wag muna. Because I still have to study for the bar. And baka masaktan lang kasi busy ka oh. sa life. So, maybe in the right time. So, but not now. Okay? So, yan lang, Precious. Thank you, though. question is from Cherry Joyce Marine, former CSE officer uh, slash student and friend. So, question. Hello, Ma'am Kay. Ano po ang pinakamahirap na subject sa law school and why? Um, assessing it sa ngayon, no? Because I'm not in the field of accounting and whatnot and all those mga magagaling sa mga may background sa MM. I think it would be, ano, negotiable instruments for me. Nahirapan talaga ako dyan sa part na yan. But, I'm not saying na yun lang. I believe all the subjects are very difficult. But, if you have the courage to really study the subjects under the, you know, curriculum of law school, I think you're going to manage din lang. Pag yung so far as of now, na nahirapan talaga ako na parang tumagilid talaga. It's nego. Nego sa napapasabot. Oh, no! I'm reminded. Anyway, so, yan, Cherry. I hope I answered your question. Next is from Emmy Hamsan. Ang tanong niya that time, no, it's still applicable na. How's law school now? Oh. So, uh, law school is very fine. And though it's difficult, but it keeps me going. It gives me the spark. Oh. So, so, not to romanticize everything, but totally it's good. Medyo mahirap lang din talaga. And there's pressure, but it's part of the game. And so far, so good. So, let's just continue making the aral. So, thanks for the question. And sa so, pangangamusta na din. Ingat always. Next question is from Rufaida Ahmad, another English major baby, who asked me, sabi niya, Ma'am, do you watch anime po? Uh, on a sad note though, I'm not. Ever since high school, nakikinig lang ako sa mga classmates ko. So, I really don't know what are these anime things, pero I can manage makinig sa kanila. But, not really, not really into it. So, Okay, next question is from Trisha Main De Leon, another English major student. She asked me this question. When do you know po if that person is the one ends? Uh, ano ka? So, ano ba to? Usapang love life. I think you would know that he or she is the one if you know it for yourself, siguro. I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't been there yet. So, so far, may mga nagpapakute. Pero, <laughs> hindi naman yung part, diba? So, I think you yourself can tell it for you and parang yun yun sinasabi ng former prof ko na may spark daw talaga na hindi mo ma-explain. So probably main yan yung hanapin mo na ano. So ako uh, not yet guaranteed hindi pa ako expert sa ganyan. So yun. Thank you main for the question.